everybody, welcome back. We're on a different bike today. We're on a Spanky's Road Glide. I'm uh, riding it back to him because uh, uh, I did a little work on it, fixed a lot of things, and um, dropping it back off at uh, his place here in a little while. But um, very different setup for my bike. Um, I said you obviously first thing sticks out is the uh, the pullback handlebars and uh, they're different I mean it's not necessarily something that uh, I particularly uh, like but um, I definitely see the appeal like it handles it's extremely comfortable it's got a very distinct look and um, like I said it just rides well like I said, I'm really just chilling up here, and uh, you know, it's pretty enjoyable. I can definitely see the appeal, especially like going down the interstate for a long time. Like these, like super comfortable. Not very performance based, which is much more my thing, but uh, there's definitely a market for these bars and uh, they work really well. As I said, not, not my personal style, but uh, very, uh, very cool. As I said, this bike's a very kind of. Uh, I'd say it's kind of a unicorn. There's a, a lot of history because this bike is going fast around a little bit and um, it's still very nice. I mean, nothing's really like fancy, fancy on it, but um, it's a very strong bike. And um, the funny thing about this bike is it's a 2008 uh, frame, but it's got the new 107 uh, Milwaukee 8 motor. Uh, you know, the six-speed Milwaukee 8 transmission. And, um, let's see, it's also got, um, the whole drive line. It's got Prodigy 19 in the front and, um, a, uh, also the Prodigy 18 in the back. Um, actually, the, uh, the wheels on this bike came off of my bike when I replaced, uh, my wheels. And, um, so, uh, that's where uh, these wheels came from. So I was like, I got a lot of personal history of this bike. Like, it used to be one of my good buddies for a while. And um, he did a good bit of work with it, cammed it out. And uh, just can't got a chain conversion on it. So you can, you can really just hoon around on it. But at the same time, like, you could jump on it and comfortably go all the way down to Florida, all the way across the country on it. You know, like I said, it makes pretty good power for, um, for what it is. I uh, said so it's a uh, uh, SNS uh, 475 cam with the D&D exhaust and uh, you know when the Milwaukee 8's first came out that was the, the combo to have. Now, most people put it in like a 114 or whatever but it's, it gives you a lot of power up top. It gives you that really nice tractor sound that Harley's known for. Like you can just hear it like, like that's the sound like everybody wants. got two ambulances going that's never good hope they're all right up here riding through town oh big old brick house Never noticed that before. You always see something new uh, whenever you're out riding differently or whatever. It gives you a little different perspective or view. Uh, so my bike is quite a bit taller. Uh, I think I believe this one has a drop fairing kit, so the whole fairing's lower. You know, you got the uh, real shortcut windshield. I think that's a stock windshield. So there's not a lot of. Uh, wind protection in the front per se and um, as I said it's like the first gen walkie 8 fairing design the 
so it's got a little vents that you can close which to me is way better than um, the newer ones where it's, you can't close them off and block them and that gives you like a lot of wind but uh, apparently it gives it better mileage vents the ferry and gives it more stability and speed but personally I ride a lot when it's cold I'd rather be able to close them and uh, or open them and uh, rather than just being open all the time because uh, it does get quite a bit colder with that wind coming through there they say it doesn't but you could definitely notice a difference let's kind of back off let that car go this is like casino alley all these cars doing stupid stuff you just gotta be kind of alert and ready Today's Sunday, so like 10, 10 30, somewhere in between the two. And uh, yeah, Cycle Max is closed. Great dealer, great place to go look at bikes, buy stuff, get service. They, uh, they're good people. They've really looked out for me in the past. And uh, definitely recommend them, especially for tires. Like, they're the cheapest for any kind of tire. They'll, they're pretty much cheaper than ordering on Amazon because by the time. Uh, I mean, if you mount it yourself, you might be able to save like four or five dollars altogether. But um, I'll just take the rim in there, I'll let them use the tire machine, put balance speeds or rim weights on it, and um, I let them do my tires. And uh, it's like if you buy it through them, you get a discount on the labor. So I go in there, and usually if it's 30 minutes to hour, it'll be out there waiting on me ready. To me, that's way better than um, me spending uh, a lot of time. And, Stinging up my rims because uh, I'm not the best at doing some of this stuff so I know what to do and what not to do and uh, putting tires on is something that uh, I'm not a fan of and uh, I'll pay someone 30 bucks to do it instead I think looks like a 250 it's a nice Ford but you know what they say about Fords oh, that's a 350 oh, blacked out 350 that's pretty cool much more of a handful but uh i see this bike stand straight up and do a whole bunch of wheelies so you got plenty of power personally i've done a few on it not with i don't believe i had these set of handlebars on it at the time but um i've definitely done my fair share of wheelies on this bike it's definitely got and all everything you really need and uh i'm not gonna necessarily say it's got stuff that uh it's not got like excessive power or excessive torque, but it's got everything you need to have fun and play on a bike. And uh, for the value, this is probably one of the better combos out there. I think there's better cams out there now. But um, like I said, that D&D full length exhaust is uh, really hard to beat for performance. Uh, it's still one of the top tier ones. And um, like I said, you can't beat that sound. 
sound just ooh. That's that's the Harley sound. That's the money sound right there. You know. You get on the highway, just get on it, like, oh yeah, that's it. That's it right there. That's what everybody wants to hear, everybody wants to have. And uh that's just really uh your typical Harley. You get that low end grunt. Ooh. Yeah, a little pop, bang. And believe it or not, these bars actually they handle very well. Like you would think this would be hard at all. But um like I said this actually feels less sketchy than uh my bike but
you hit that in my car and uh, you feel those bumps. Or, uh, this bike just soaks them up. You know they're there and it gives you the feedback, but you really don't feel it. Like, you hit a bump on like a stock auto suspension, you can feel it in your lower back, which is not good. Definitely not what you want. But um, on this bike, it just, you hit the bump, it just soaks it right on up and uh, like it's not a big deal.
actually a little chilly, but it's a pretty nice day for a ride. I mean, all in all, it ain't bad at all. from the new bikes is to sound just like the old bikes. No one wants to be a new bike. They just want to sound like oh, I want to be the old bike. But new bikes are cool. No they're not. New bikes suck. The old bikes are the best. But I gotta agree though. The, the twin cam sound is definitely superior. Like you just get a way better sound. Not that this is bad at all, this is probably one of the better sounding M8s. At least in my opinion. But until next time.